So what's going on guys, it's Jeremy, it's v Boxing. make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos, like always. It's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So the heavyweight bout on the undercard of um, John A. Wilder and Bermain Stavern this Saturday night, the fight between Eric Molino and Dominic Brazil will be a WBC heavyweight title eliminator and apparently the winner of the fight will be next in line to face the winner of Wilder and Stavern. Um, Like a lot of people, I'm expecting John A. Wilder to win the fight, so yeah, the winner of that fight should face John A. Wilder next. And this is interesting because there are guys who are higher up in the rankings than Dominic Brazil and Eric Molino. Like, both of these guys are former world title challengers, Eric Molino. Has challenged twice for a world title, lost both times, stopped both times. And Dominic Brazil um, was stopped in seven rounds by Anthony Joshua in his maiden world title shot. And I'm going to go through the rankings here. Well, until I get to Eric Molina at least. <laughs> and number one, you've got Bermain Stavern. Obviously, he's fighting Wilder. He's the man in trade. Number two, you've got Luis Ortiz, which is still a bit weird because obviously he failed that drug test. But are they still looking into things? So that's why... He hasn't really lost his um, place in the WBC rankings. Number three, you got Dillian White. Number four, you got Andy Ruiz. Like, I think them two fighters deserve the shot. Well, deserve to have an eliminator more than Dominic Brazil and Eric Molino. So, I think Dillian White and Andy Ruiz would be a fine title eliminator about. Number five, you got Carlos Takam, but he's obviously just for Anthony Joshua. Number six, you got Brazil. Number seven, you got Marius Wack. Number eight, you got Derek Dezora. Number nine, you got Johan de Wopo. Number ten, you got Oscar Rivas. Number eleven, you got Charles Martin. And number twelve, you've got Eric Molino. So yeah, there are guys in them rankings who deserve um a final eliminator more than Dominic Brazil and Eric Molino. Brazil's coming off a good win over undefeated Nigerian heavyweight Izua Gono. Stopping him in was it in five rounds? It was in five or six rounds or something like that. And the fight itself, like it's not a bad fight. Eric Molino, this guy just keeps getting chances. Like this guy in his fight against Anthony Joshua just looked like he didn't really want to be there. He looked very lethargic, he just looked very lapsadaisical. He just looked like he didn't really want to be there at all. Eric Molino, he just looked like he came to pick up a check and go home. And when he got dropped by Anthony Joshua, it was just like yeah, this guy does not want to get up here. And, yeah, that was a poor showing from Eric Molino. In his fight against Johnny Wilder, he showed a bit more heart and determination. And he actually wobbled Johnny Wilder early on in that fight. But, obviously, Johnny Wilder started to find his target with that big, long right hand. And he was dropping Eric Molina left, right and centre. But, yeah, I don't understand why Eric Molino is getting a crack at the WBC while fighting an eliminator when he's already fought for the WBC title against Wilder and lost so yeah that's interesting and especially with him being ranked so high not high so low I mean in the WBC rankings number 12 like that's very weird to me and Dominic Brazil I can understand why they might make a fight well the fight with Dominic Brazil a WBC title eliminator just for the fact that him and Johnny Wilder have a lot of bad blood um, I think it was after John A. Wilder's last fight against Gerald Washington when Dominic Brazil and him got into a bit of an altercation. Like, both guys' entourages were getting into it. Apparently, someone um, went for Dominic Brazil's wife or something like that. Like, it got very, very personal. And apparently, John A. Wilder still holds a bit of a grudge towards um, Dominic Brazil. And he wants to punish him. So, yeah, they're setting this up. So, Dominic Brazil gets the opportunity to fight John A. Wilder. And these two can have a grudge match. Because a lot of people are expecting Dominic Brazil to beat Eric Molina. Because Eric Molina, he's just, he's just one of these fighters. He's a very crafty fighter, Eric Molina. Like, he isn't the most um, talented fighter out there. But he can do sneaky little things sometimes. And when he turns up, he can be quite a hard, oppo quite a hard opponent. Like, Thomas Adamak saw that, and fucking a couple of other fighters have seen um, that Eric Molino can be pretty crafty in there, and he has got decent power. Dominic Brazil, like, he is a decent fighter. He was a 
big club in heavyweight and he does carry serious power as well so i'm expecting this fight to be fun if Eric molina turns up but if not i'd expect um, dominic brazil to take him out in four or five rounds that's how i see it but obviously if um johnny wilder um beats bermain stavern and this sets up a good match between wilder and brazil because they wanted to do that fight not long after people were talking about it like oh, i think Brazil should get the shot. Like, I, I don't understand why Brazil didn't get the shot anyway. Maybe he didn't want to take the fight at short, short notice after Luis Ortiz um, failed a drug test. So that's why he remains on the undercard because Brazil was meant to fight Stavern. But obviously Stavern's had to step in because of Ortiz failing the drug test. So yeah, it's very mixed up right now. And the WBC rankings, like they're very weird anyway. Like the WBC are a very weird sanctioning body anyway. It's just kind of a sanctioning body where they do what they want. It's not like the IBF, where they are a very strict organisation. WBC, they could do what they want. That's why fucking Bermain Stavern, who's only had one fight in fucking three years, is still the mandatory challenger. Like, it's ridiculous, but it is what it is. I expect um, Brazil to be Molina to be a good fight. Well, if Eric Molina turns up, if not, then I expect Dominic Brazil to do the business. But like I said, I don't understand how Dillian White hasn't got an opportunity before somebody like Eric Molino. Like, I think Dillian White deserves an eliminator more than Eric Molino. A lot more. And guys like Andy Ruiz deserve an eliminator more than um, Eric Molino. So, yeah, very weird. So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.